afternoon, good evening. This is Figure Talk, episode 75. Uh, this the ID, the new release, uh, 77 Infantry Division Captain Sam, you know, from World War II. Uh, I hope you enjoy this and we will go through in the details. So in this video, we can have a closer look of all the accessories. You know, this is the radio, or we call the radio telephone. And you can see this watch here, which watch. And the head scrub like this does is really look one of the Hollywood movie star. But I cannot recall his name. But anyway, it's a fine head scrub from the idea again. And you know, I have to explain something that um, DID is using a completely new, no, no, a completely different method of making hair scrub. You know, I think 99% of the companies like Hot Toys, V0, they're all using PVC hair scrub, but they are using vinyl plastic. They have a special skill level for making a very fine details vinyl plastic. But actually, um, there's a tendency that not every piece of the vinyl plastic out, of, um, out from the mold is of the best quality. So I think they have to do a very good QC job. And very fine radio, op radio telephone, very fine head scrub, and also a wooden mate, wooden mate, and metal. I think it's M1, right? So it's a typical US Army in World War II period. And he is from Captain Sam from 77 Infantry Divisions. So there are some special parts for this 1.6 scale figures. And they have, uh, this is not the first time they did include a Japanese samurai sword for a World War II US Army. Again, this is a. Again, this is a. Metal made sword. The blade is metal. Grip is metal, and you can see a very, very realistic. But it's real. Yeah, it's true. It's real metal part. Of the blade, but this is not sharp, so don't be afraid that uh, it would cut your hands. No, it it won't hurt your hands, and a good shift and uh, a metal a metal helmet you can see that metal helmet I try again a metal helmet and with all interior details and a very good metal paint the decals of the divisions Oh, but they, uh, I, I'm not sure this is if it is a captain sign or division sign. But usually the captain sign is on the back of the helmet and the front of the helmet. But this one, no, somebody else or some fellow collectors could can remind me or give more information. Thank you. And one special stuff is also from a Japanese side. 
this is a Jam Japan Army pistol. I think it's an official officer pistol, and you could see the the very fine Chinese. This number and on on this part on this side, there is a Chinese sculpture here, Chinese words. Okay, and a very fine maps in paper. Two painted hands, and also again a a Japanese army flag, Imperial Army flag, with a lot of calligraph or you know writings on the flags. Okay, seems not too many accessory, but a very good quality accessory. This Japanese samurai sword is well well made. You can see by your own eyes on the videos, you know, real metal, real blade. Not painted color. Looks like a real sword. The good details Japanese army side arms. The first time release helmet. I mean with this deco. Very good M1 helmet, and again, leather, not pleated, it's leather made boots in 1-6 scale, all the costume, radio telephone, metal and wooden M1, super fine hair scrub, so this is the newest DID figures release in the market, hope you enjoy this program. Thanks for watching Pick a Talk of Toys TV. My name is Rhino. See you. Bye bye.